You can see there 3.5 to 9 volts. Uh, just decided to go back out of focus again. I'm having a few troubles getting this phone to play ball. Um, but anyway, there you go. 3.5 to 9 volts. This is this crap little water pump. I decided to, uh, yeah, well, had a uh, female USB connection. And I, uh, yeah, looks a little bit melted in one part of the plug there. So I tested it. Uh, by uh, yeah, getting it all hooked in to a uh, normal USB connection and it all works absolutely fine nothing wrong with a plug so I decided that I was going to considering that's 3.5 to 9 volts I took the little cover off um, oh, it's still sitting in the sink but it, it's a little cover that sits over the front and uh, they come off without a problem and I got a little rivet uh, one of these little fellas here and started trying to turn this over and it sort of boom, 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 felt how it should um, and I thought well I'm getting it to turn over so we'll see if we can power it up and 9 volts not a problem and I got this old skanky thing sitting around for years it might be about to go a little bit acidic uh, <laughs> but it works fine and I checked the volts and it was fine and I thought well, I'd do the tongue test and yes we have some amps no question about that and I hooked it on and this thing would not fucking work and uh, yeah so I think I even tried to continue to test through the thing I think I did I'm pretty certain I did because I've tried just about everything with the old multimeter here from 1998 um, I tried a continuity test to see if it was shorting out and uh, I really couldn't seem to, to get anything uh, before uh, I tried with the battery. I'm fairly certain I tried to continue to test it before I put the battery on but it, she just did not want to work and uh, yeah she hit the floor uh, at about 100 miles an hour uh, shortly thereafter and uh, we discover that our impeller here is actually just hooked to a battery and this cover that I was worried about pushing on too hard pops off to solid epoxy yeah so getting worried about jamming the spindle didn't mean a bloody thing because all it was doing was covering solid epoxy that's where the power cable has come out there or the USB cable has come out and then I decided to, uh, I have some fantastic chisels here that my sister bought me many years ago. And uh, they they will go through just about anything. And I mean it. <laughs> and uh, after it hit the ground, I've done another continuity test on the uh, remaining wires you can see there. Nut no, couldn't get anything. So I put the chisel through and, uh, well, lo and behold, there's a, a little piece of wire here that this impeller is supposed to go on that has been... Uh, Bent slightly in the chisel hit, but, uh, and, you know, believe it or not, this is all actually, that's all oil and everything. I mean, there's oil on it. You can see it. Not with this crappy camera, but you, you can see it. Um, oh, yeah, that's the little your piece that goes over the top there for your intake. And, and that slot there is where your outtake goes up into this business. It all goes inside there, as you could well imagine. But all they've really got is just uh, the magnet just sits in there spinning on that piece of wire next to these uh, coils here. And if you actually look at these damn coils, this is your, your wire like you got on your back of your old style TV screens. You know, like those coils, or forget what they call them. Uh, but yeah, it's that sort of stuff with that, like that really, really thin red coating. And I mean, you know, you've lost a bit of the coating here as the chisels hit it there. But there's ones down here. They've got no blasted coating on whatsoever. Some of them are sitting inside where the epoxy's cracked out. It, it's not even scraped off by the chisel. And it's got no coating. It's like, my gosh. You know, so skimping on the coating and everything, you know. But that, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like your, your eddy plates or whatever they call them. Because I think I can see one there sticking out uh, and, and that's just it you, you've got a magnet that just spins on a, on a blooming thing stick it a bit of wire that 
fell off there, stuck in the end, you can see. Um, but, yeah, that's all it is. So what a lot of bullshit. I've tried all the tricks in the book and I cannot get that USB battery to do anything. Apparently, when you short them out, you're allowed to, well, the standard way, once you have something fail or short out, you actually just put it on the charger. I've had a phone or two that's had a few issues. I had a phone that just did not want to turn on one day. I put it on the charger for 20 seconds, bang, turns on. I've tried putting that USB battery on the charger multiple times and pissing and stuffing around and there's no reset button or anything. And I think I've just fried the electronics because it doesn't have any short out protection in it. It's one of the ones where you've, you know, you've got a battery, like an a, a on off button on the side. Not a slide switch, but one you just, you know, like a soft touch type of, you know, like one of those sort of buttons where you, you can just bump, bump, bump. But you're supposed to be able to turn it on and, and will not come on, will not take it to, nothing will light up. I've tried plugging in other USB things, including my little USB fan. Nothing. Absolutely dead. I think I've literally blown the circuit on it. So I've thrown that in the cupboard and uh, that's a bloody crying shame, really. Um, all because of this Chinese piece of shit. Anyway... This is what you get with a lot of this crap, you know, and uh, <laughs> four weeks by air freight, and it should have been here in, in less than a week coming from China with the amount of blooming, you know, stuff that comes through, you know, sent by air four weeks for a, a five to seven day trip. And, you know, and now to just pull all this bullshit on me, that really has fucked up my day blowing up the best USB battery, the the one I've got, the other silver one, it sometimes won't go past about 94% charge. That one's like the 8,000 milliamp hour or whatever it is. Um, and, you know, here I am with a 15,000 and I've bloody wrecked it, you know? It's like, shit. So, forever on now, I'm going to uh, <laughs> just use three AA batteries and, and the little wires here. On this one, to test any USB stuff that comes in with 4.5 volt, just to see if we're going to get any freaking response at all. Because 4.5 ain't too far short of uh, 5, and uh, I think that's that's going to be near enough versus blowing up, you know, a 15,000 milliamp hour battery.